When we talk about slag inclusion, could it be uh, the slag itself? Yeah. Right? Could it be a piece of dirt? Yeah. Could it be a tug stem? Yeah. If you're art, if you're TIG welding and you have a piece of tug stem that balls off and falls out, would that be an inclusion? Yes. Okay. So it's any object in the weld, non-metallic like object. Hard, like, hard strike Say that again. Like full pedals, like we're in front of strike, because I did that once. And then it just, whoop, the tip falls right off, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah. It means you're a bad welder. It means I'm hot. <laughs> so okay. You get a ball of plasma. Lane. Lane. With. High. Now, we've done this often enough. Is this the width or is this the length? Or does it really matter? <clears throat> I don't think it's going to matter. Let's not worry about so much length and width. If I stretch it from end to end, I can measure it. I can measure it up and down. So what's most important? The height. The height, the width, the length, all three of them are important. Make sure you're getting accurate. Now, the defect in your weld, the weld is no good. If you have a discontinuity, that means I have some porosity. Is porosity acceptable in a weld? Yes, yes. 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 sometimes. <laughs> to a certain extent. So if I have, say it again, Jacob? Three eighths. If I have a total of three eighths of an inch of porosity in 12 inches of weld, so if I've got all those little porosities in there and I measure them and they equal up to three eighths of an inch, but not more than three eighths of an inch, is the weld acceptable? Yes. yes. According to the standard, yes. Take and remeasure this and make it, you know, whatever this point is, add this much on to it and add that much on to it. Okay. I So you can scoop that out, so it'll shake out, you know, because as your electrodes drop in, they'll break off, and the pieces will break off. Do something like that. I would do something about it. Yeah. And then you know the electrodes are about 12 inches, so I would make this.
just put it through the shear, shear it, and then weld it in there, right? Yeah. Let's do that right now. Quarter inch, and or cut it straight, two sides, and weld them all together. Put hands on it, and legs, and then the rack in the middle. Put your food on. And we're very proud of our work. So. Looks good. Just gotta go through and try to keep that um, keep that gun. So yeah, keep that gun at the right angle with consistency. Kind of flow it, flick it over here, right? Because it's just a little bit thicker, right? So you can bring it up. That's not too bad. You just gotta go through and maybe go like a complete well. So it doesn't have those spots on there, so water can get in there. Right here, I like this one. You got a little bit of undercut, it looks like. Oh, no, you're good. And then this one, I really like it. You can see the ripples in it. It's still a little bit hot, but you can see where it goes through. It's nice and consistent. And you favored this metal, and then brought this one down. You can see how it kind of falls over there, right there. And yeah, I really like that. You can go through, probably clean up that stuff up right here on this corner. Yeah, you start off at the end of the tag. Right here, you ran a little hot. And then you start on top of this metal, and then you didn't really bring it down. You didn't flip it over, you know? All right. So then, yeah, just over practice, practice, and then just do more, more stuff like this if you want. And then you give it like a month or two, and you'll have it down perfect. So that's how hey, you're doing it. Hey, Trey, Tyler, okay, so I know we're videotaping this, and I know this feels a little artificial, but is this something that we do pretty much every day? We look at our welds, we help each other out. I mean, is this... Yeah. We are kind of faking it right now, but is this what we do? Yeah, this is every now, this is what we do. As soon as someone gets done, we all go through, make, either make fun of them, they burn holes through it, that's how you get better. You just gotta go through and then, negative. yeah, you just gotta get criticism, negative or positive, that's always good, no matter which pen you get. So, and then this is the same thing, basically, what we do, but a little bit nicer. Thanks guys. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Appreciate your hard work. Good evening. What I've tried to show in this video is my students who build great products like this barbecue grill. I believe my students do a whole lot better learning by doing things instead of just taking lots of tests, doing lots of paperwork. So we come in here, we work every day, we work hard every day, we make problems, we fix problems. But every day we come in here and we learn by doing. And that's what I'm really trying to show, that we learn by doing and we have a fun time doing.